So what's up people and welcome to the 14th chapter discussion of Bokura no Ketsume or Our Blood Oath. So chapter 14 came out a few days ago and as always I will leave a link to this chapter which is on the publisher's official website Manga Plus for the North American audience. So if you're in the region and if you're interested yeah go take a look at the chapter. Um, before they potentially may pull it back. So far they've shown all the chapters, so this may be okay for a while, but you never know. So uh, chapter 14 was very interesting again. Chapter 13 was a pretty good chapter, and chapter 14 continues on with that during the battle between Ko and Kane. And of course in the end of chapter 13 we saw that Kane was of royal blood as well, and uh, he can wield some pretty powerful blood weapons as well. But what we find out in chapter 14 is once Cole goes into rage mode, <laughs> there are very few vampires that can stand up to him. And he really shows Cain just what level of power he has when he goes into rage mode. Cain learns just what it means to be a heir to the throne rather than just royalty. And so this was very interesting because of the fact that, of course, Ko, uh, seeing what has happened to his brother during the previous battles and what he remembers of Kiri and Aki, uh, this helped motivate him to go into rage mode and basically go Super Saiyan on uh, Kane. And this chapter also brings out some of the understanding of why Cain is so, so angry at the humans. And we learned a little bit about that in the previous chapter in the sense that, of course, he is from the Akatsuki clan. And the Akatsuki clan were historically vampires that wanted to live in peace with the humans. And somewhere along the way, they got wiped out by humans. Um, more likely taking advantage of their benevolence. And what we find out in chapter 14 is how uh, the Akatsuki clan got wiped out. And it was during a time when Cain was about the age of Ko. And what you find out during that time is because he was raised in such a loving family that was relatively benevolent to the humans and wanted to coexist, Cain was a very peaceful child. And in fact, if you look at him, you get very much the same sort of personality as the current personality in Ko, that somewhat naive innocence that you see in Ko all the time. But what you find out during this chapter is not only that the Akatsuki clan got wiped out, but how. And it is during a wedding ceremony for Cain's sister that the massacre takes place. And it turns out that the person who directed the massacre was Cain's sister's fiancé. And at this point, we are introduced to the first human faction that are vampire hunters. And it turns out that Cain's sister's fiancé took advantage and exploited Cain's sister's love. And through the growing relationship that they were able to nurture, he was able to then trick Cain's sister into falling in love with him up to the point of getting married. But that was just basically a plan so that they could reduce the defenses by the Akatsuki clan. And by doing so, they could go in and slaughter them all. And the person who actually slaughtered his sister was the fiancé himself. So you can understand why Cain is raging against humans because in some sense he witnessed the same thing Arya Stark witnessed during the Red Wedding. It was his version of the Red Wedding. And you remember how it drastically changed Arya Stark to the point where she was basically <laughs> driven to becoming an assassin and having a list of people to kill. Well, Cain turned in a similar manner. And what's interesting is, of course, when you see Cain as a young child, he is very much like Ko, and so your thought is, well, 
can somebody as loving as Cole be turned into somebody as ruthless as Cain? But if you think about it, that makes sense because right now you see Cole in his rage mode. And of course, the rage mode came because of the injuries that uh, his brother Shin uh, sustained from Cain. And so if you think about it, if Cain had killed Shin, then you could understand just what that will do to Cole. And if it was any human that killed Shin, then maybe that will transform Cole enough to turn his side towards the vampires that hate the humans. So this is a very interesting analogy in the sense that what Cole has become as a rage mode, uh, very powerful vampire, is the same sort of feeling that Cain has for the humans. And so we get to understand that if there's ever a situation that Shin gets killed, then whoever kills Shin will receive the same sort of rage from Cole that Cain is focusing on the humans. And will that be enough for Cole to go out and do the same things Cain did, such as kidnap a young girl from the enemy faction and force them to do very undesirable things? I'm not sure, but considering how much you see anger in Cole's eyes right now, I could imagine that if that happened, and if that happened in such a devastating way as what Cain received, then Cole could turn into exactly another version of Cain. Now this one ends in another cliffhanger, and it'll be interesting to see what happens because of the fact that now we see a different complex side to Cain and how the relationship between Cain and Haiga will continue will be very, very interesting. Anyway, that's it for the chapter 14 discussion of Bokura no Ketsume or Our Blood Oath. Some of it is very formulistic, but I do feel that they are executing it very well. Uh, it's not as formulistic as something like Black Clover. On the other hand, I'm not sure if it's executed as well as Black Clover. Ba Black Clover is about as cliche a shonen comic as you can imagine. But that author executes that cliche so well that it actually continues to be enjoyable. I'm hoping that Our Blood Oath does the execution as well so that it could continue to grow the world and bring out the complexities that it's starting to show in these chapters. But anyway, we'll find out as we continue on, and uh, I'll upload more chapters as they come out, and I hope you join me at that time. And until the next episode, happy manga reading, and as always, Jan Esteo, everyone.